Hi there, this is Lena from Lena's Crafty Corner. If you've noticed the name change, it was Lena Bryan from Bespoke Craft Designs. Lena's Crafty Corner was a bit uh, easier to say. So I did my first challenge on the um, Roxy Creations challenge um, and I thought I enjoyed it so much I thought I'm going to play around with some scrapbooking papers and I'm going to put some paint down similar to what I did in the challenge but with a bit more time and time to sort of do it and let them dry naturally and I can edit the video so you don't have to you know wait for me to dry them and what have you so I just thought I would have a play because I wanted to do something that would be a bit more layered than there were in the challenge obviously you couldn't do as much in the time scale so I had so much fun doing the um Roxy Creations Challenge, as many tags as you can do in 45 minutes. And um, I started at week two, as I said in, in the um, video itself. <clears throat> but um, oh, my camera stopped after 40 minutes. So I I still had five minutes left, but I wasted it talking. But then I did go back and just... Um, I'll just show you. I did go back... Oh, let me get these... Oh. Oh, for goodness sake turn that over that's it i did go back and just cut them into i didn't that one because i'd already put a flower on it because i'd forgotten but that was the one i did after me well after me um 40 minutes after the clock stopped so these are what i did actually um in the challenge and i loved them so much i mean i love mixed media backgrounds it's just my thing i just love it so what i thought i would do today is do some more but do them in the slow time uh, i'm going to put them in my latest journal because i'm going to put them with those so i did carry on last night and i did quite a few as you can see i've got loads of tags here um and uh what i'm gonna do is some of these ones i'm just going to cover them and then i'll cut these ones down that we've just done so i'm just going to cover a couple of these so i got some bits out and and then thought oh i ought to turn the camera on so that's not going to stick on there. Um, what I thought I would do, uh, let's get these down first because I've got some different ideas. So this is just a sticky ticket that I had but I'm going to glue it as well because I just tried it on there to see if it would stick but it won't so um, because I'm doing slow time I am going to ink I didn't ink in the challenge because it's the first challenge I've ever done and you know I had so much fun I really did it was wonderful And to just think I'm doing the same challenge as um, Rachel. I've actually looked at her video now and, uh, uh, you know, I mean, she's obviously a lot more experienced and a lot more relaxed about doing things because she's been doing them longer. Um, and I didn't look at hers before and because I didn't want to copy. I wanted to be not be influenced. I wanted to do my own thing because... I did watch Gail uh, Tootill um, doing her first challenge and then I went and I watched um, Rachel and then I thought I can't really do one now because I'll be influenced. I won't be able to make my own choices. I need to do it without watching. <laughs> so I just had to watch the beginning so of the second one so I could, you know, I knew what the challenge was. And then I stopped it as soon as I could. 
I haven't yet watched part two. I think she's got Rachel's got a part two up there. I think she's done similar to what I'm doing, just you know, carrying on doing it. So I'm chatting away, I'm not telling you what I'm doing. These are all bits. I I had this box, I've had this box forever with well I've used this box, but I had these all in different plastic boxes and bags of things I've cut out of books and magazines and what have you so I thought it was time we got them used um, I do just quite like that on there because I'm doing it in slow time as well well if I can find it I'm going to punch a hole and as well and do my actual tags because I didn't do that um, so I'm going to put this down. I'm using my glue stick, even though it's on the paint. If I find that it isn't strong enough, I shall go back in with um, my art glitter glue or some multi medium. I can use that as well. I've got a, a number of different glues, but um, I'm trying it with the glue stick and just see what it does. Right, actually I've just put that down and I wanted to put the butterfly just under it, so I'll just lift it up. And the thing with this glue, it just does give you a little bit of uh, time to manoeuvre if you've, you know, missed something off or don't do something. I wanted to just put a bit of the wing and a bit of actually under the flower best I can. So yeah, I like that on there. Yeah, I think that's quite cute actually. And I mean, the look, when you first look at them, these tags and they've just got the paint on, they look so strange because, the you know, you, you, you're not doing any sort of artist. I mean, that one is literally blobs. Literally blobs and all I used, if I can find one of them, that's one of the colours. I've only got three and I've put all three colours on. It's just these distress paints and just list, literally blobbed it on. So it's nothing and it's just on scrapbook paper. And then all I've done, as I say, is use bits with, with this. It's funny because I've just watched a video today. When I'm screwing bits up to make them look like this, I always um, ink down where I've screwed it up to make it look like this. And it was really funny because I've just watched something Tina's done and Tina said, oh, I don't like that look. <laughs> She'd screwed it up and, and inked on it. And I thought it was really funny because I like it. I like how it looks. But it, it's... Um, it just made me laugh because it makes me laugh when she always apologises to somebody when she's doing the um, rough edges because somebody had told her they didn't like it. It just made me laugh because we all have, we all do things slightly different. And Rachel had said she doesn't do the grungy look. You know, good job we all, all don't do the same, isn't it? Right, I'm just trying to... Get. I'd already got these out because I was going to do it. I just didn't think to turn the camera on. And then I thought, well, actually, I'm going to turn the camera on. So. Oh, there's a lot going on on this one, but I just wanted to get that mushroom on, but I need to put that bird's tail over the top. You see, look how different that looks just from getting all the bits down. I must say I'd rather ink though. I do. I did miss inking around the edges, but I'd put a, it, it wasn't that I didn't have the time to ink them. It was that I didn't, I'd put everything away to bring all my paints out. <laughs> 
I took everything off my desk to give me more room and uh, I just didn't have time to look where I'd put it so I do like I still like the inked edges and it does take up rather a lot of time inking You know, if you're doing a lot of bits, so sometimes I do a lot of bits ahead of time as I'm cutting them, I ink them. Oh, gosh. You know, if like when I'm watching telly and I can ink some up, but it is quite, it's a monotonous task. So if you're just doing it while you're doing something else, I find that better. But if you're just doing a little bit at a time like this, it goes okay. So we'll get this mushroom down first because I want the bird tail over the top. So we'll get that down first. And then he's on his own branch. So I'm going to put the branch going off the page so I can get all his beak in. Because he is rather big on there. But I like him when they're big on, on the page, on the tag like that. Um, so I am just going to see where I want this. So I want it just below where it's been cut. I want it to there. But I don't think I'm going to use all this. I think I'm going to just tear this off, which goes with this. I'm just going to do this again so I can just do this edge. This was really pale because it's just on white, white cardstock. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put that down. Yeah, I quite like that. I want that. Oh, no, I want it that way on, don't I? Yeah, I want that like that. I'm just looking where I want the word journal. Do I want it down there? No, I actually want it there. So let's get him done. So I'm looking out my window and it's snowing. Where we live, we don't get we get very little snow. I think 2010 we had a massive snowfall, and that was the last time we get little bits where we are. But then I've got a friend that lives um, further over, and you know they're actually blocked in with snow, so it's not the whole of England that doesn't get much snow, just in our area we don't. We get very little. When other parts of the the country are saying they're blocked in and they're snowed in, we haven't got anything at all. So we are quite fortunate. I mean, we got a little shower on Christmas Eve, which was really lovely. It didn't last, it was just very wet, you know, like more, well it wasn't rain, it was snow, but it was, um, it didn't, uh, it didn't settle, it just settled on the cars and the rooftops, but not on the sort of wet ground. The ground's too wet to accept it. And then this is the first sort of flurry we've had since. I always worry about the kids driving and what have you, so it takes away the pleasure of seeing it. I mean, we're at home and we don't have to go anywhere, so that's fine. So that's two, right. I've run out of tags. I've got some bits ready now. Um, so as I say, I did some of these and let some of these dry. So that was one of the ones. I'm just trying to find the ones I did in my first video. That one, that was one I did in my first video and it took a bit of time to dry. And can't think which other one I did. One of those with a bit more gold on it, I think. Yeah, I think. I'm just trying to look that I've got a 
Oh, that one's turned out really nice. Let's have a look at that one because that one's... Um, I've managed to get a bit of texture on this one. It's sort of got a bit of texture going on, if you can see it, because I actually did that with the brayer. So I'd, I'd got some of the green down and then I've just gone over with the metallic one, the metallic, not sure what colour it is, like a beige colour metallic. Um, and uh, got a bit of texture going on there with the brayer. So let's have a look at these then. And that one's lovely. They're both metallics. And they really do look lovely. And they're only blodges. They look really nice. Actually, I did that with the lid of... I couldn't find anything. And I did that with the lid of my um, Yoohoo. So you don't need massive amounts of tools. Right, so let me just have a look. I've got some bits sort of here that I had out for yesterday. Um, and I've got some bits torn up. Oh, I kept picking this bird up in the challenge. And didn't use it, but I do want to use him. Oh, I quite like him on there. Let me just have a look what I've got. I've got some bits that I've sort of had hanging, hanging about from bits that I've torn off. Oh, I didn't, I haven't inked these. I am going to, as I say, I didn't ink in the challenge. And they do look all right, and I will use them. I'll probably try and ink them a little bit, but um, I think what I'll, as the challenges go on, I will make sure my ink's next to me. I was just so excited. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do the same again. Look, if I don't do this, I need to just cut this into a tag. Because there's no excuse now. I've got no pressure on me now. I'm just forgetting. Oh, I did wash my scissors well last night because I had paint all over them. So, oh gosh, yeah. Because as much as I tried to dry it, I didn't want to have the the um, heat tool on too long because it, it is it is quite um, loud but I couldn't turn I obviously couldn't turn off to dry it so we just had to you can buzz it on you know I'd love to think people watch it but you, you can just buzz that bit, bit on if it's annoying I know some people don't like the sound of the heat gun and as I say, normally I do edit my videos, but, but I don't know what I'm going to do about these challenges because it only allowed me 40 minutes. As I say, I don't normally spend 40 minutes all in one go because I'm always needed. I'm always turning the camera on and off, um, you know, for personal reasons, because I have things I have to do. So I don't actually do such a long video all in one go. And that was my biggest um, worry last night was whether I was going to be able to do it all in one go um, anyway I managed it until it went off so I've just got a bit of lace here that I'm going to just put on the bottom of this one uh, part of the challenge you didn't have to sew around them you know that didn't come into it the sewing was extra so that was good you didn't have to um you didn't have to count that in your time. There were, there were clusters as finished, even though you hadn't sewn around them. And then I can make the decision when I'm putting them in my journal, whether I sew around them or not. Oh, I've just seen the other side of this. I'm gonna turn this one over now. <laughs> I like that side better. I didn't see what was on the other side of this. Oh, well, would you believe it? That's that as well. Oh, well, you silly fool, Lena. Oh, well, you'll have to use this now. 
Oh, never mind. I'm still going to do it that way on. This is a bit broken, but that's fine. Give it a bit of different texture. And then I'll put him across there anyway, won't I? So. Yeah, I like him. I need my dry. I'm getting all stuck up already. And this is a bit I've broken off something where I'd, I've sewn the edge. And I'm just going to put that on the top of there. But that will need some Fabri-Tac. And that was the other thing I didn't do. I didn't change glues or anything. I just kept one glue in this challenge because, as I say, it's the first. I don't do timing. So I thought it's good to get out of my comfort zone. I don't like being timed. I never have. never like quiz shows that are on a timer because it stresses me out. So um, uh, I was saying I watched Tina's. I mean, they were amazing. And I watched the other people that did them as well. And the 3 in 30. And I thought, oh, I don't think I'm ready for that. <laughs> yeah, I get a bit stressed with time. Time pressures. It's definitely outside my comfort zone. But 45 minutes, apart from the fact that my camera went off, 45 minutes seemed an, a, a good time. And just to do as many as you could, not an actual three in. If it had been a specified amount, I probably wouldn't have done it. And that was the other thing. When I watched um, Gail do hers, um, she said she felt she needed to do five. And um, I thought, well, I don't want to be pressured to that. And I didn't do five. I did four because the same camera went off. But I was happy with that. So Gail did really well to get the five done. Right, I want something else on there. That one's cut in. Right, so what am I going to put there? It just needs something. It will probably be another word. I don't know. I don't want a massive one. Graceful, yeah, quite like graceful. It's perched on that branch really gracefully, so we'll have graceful there just to fill that gap. And do we still want more? More, she says. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to find something. I don't know. No, a bit weird. I won't use that on this one. I'm just trying to see. I've got a bit of this that I like. No. Just felt like it wanted. Oh, it's got that bit of lace though there, isn't it? Mm. I've moved everything across. I've moved the bucket right over the other side because I had to bring all my paint things up and I don't keep my paints all in here. I keep them in my other room. But I haven't got back into using my other room. I tend to want to come in here now and use everything in here. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't really know 
kind of that's going to look a bit strange just out there on its own. I think it does need something else. I don't know. I'm not sure I like it just there on its own. Plus the fact I wanted to leave some of this showing. Yeah, I quite like it there. Oh, my glue's done that. But I've still got my paint things out here on the side of me. My glue's done that awful thing it does when it starts to get low. Oh, just, uh, I've not put the lid back on and it's gone all gloopy on me. Let's get the lid on. Because I've, you're squeezing it more, I think. Right then, let's do this with glue stick again. So I'm going to put that there. My husband's watching the old, the vintage Coronation Street. Um, and I think we're is well we he is watching from 1996 at the moment would you believe 1996 24 years 24 years to catch up on did i think that one i'm not sure it's only just to get that white core off That's that one. And then I'm going to just do one more. Um, right, let me have a look. I saw that other mushroom there, but I don't know whether I'm going to go with that. Oh, I've got some of that cut out. Now, when our kids, well, they can't come at the moment, but when they did do come, they say, oh, you do have your telly so loud. I think you both, both, both must be quite deaf. Well, I am. I am quite deaf. Um, but I didn't realise how loud my husband had the telly until I'm in here. Because um, he doesn't seem to be. I mean, I definitely am. I can't. I really do struggle. But I didn't realise... He doesn't admit to it like I do. Um, and uh, when I go in, I say to him, you had that telly loud? Well, it was no louder than it was when you was in, but he obviously needs it as loud as me. Because he would turn it down. Say, so, well, you obviously need it loud then. I'm just looking. I'm determined I want to put that mushroom somewhere. But, oh, it looks a bit like a love heart. That's a bit weird, isn't it? It'll be on white. No, can't do that because it's on white and it would look strange. But I do like that combination. Hmm, I think I might just do that. I love this uh, paper out of a typewriting book. It reminds me of when I first learned to type using this book. And um, I just happened to find it on a you know charity shelf somewhere and it was all... It was all quite damaged and I just thought, oh, I've got to have that because it reminds me. Oh, I've done this again, look. Chatting away and I want the ticket in behind there. So do I just want to... I'm going to try and just preserve some of this because I don't need all this. Oh, aren't I stingy? What am I like? But it also saves bulk as well, that's all. That's my excuse. But you can't even tell then, you see. I'm just going to pull this down slightly. I'm going to just ink this again and pull it down slightly so that that ticket fits in. Right, so just come down to that like that. Oh. 
that'll do just a little bit like that I want it at an angle actually that's it oh my hands are sticking to it yeah that just takes a little bit of the bulk off as well because it would be bulkier there so I've just done that because obviously when you're putting a lot of bulk in your journals the soon get mine get ever so thick practicing trying to get my bits out on the top what I'm going to use or just around me I don't have them all on my top because my top's not big enough but I have a table right directly behind me I don't even have to change my position on my seating um, yeah I don't have to stand up or anything so, so it's actually right next to me um, and um, I can just grab stuff so I can work a bit quicker. I just just a funny. I was looking back at the video um, for the challenge, and um, obviously I'm not putting it out straight away. And uh, I noticed if you do watch it and you look down, just to sort of this set where I'm pointing, sort of here. You'll see Oscar looking up at me because I'm talking and he does that all the time and he's right again. Well, I said there's very little room for him to go <laughs> elsewhere, but he's looking up at me. It's ever so sweet. It's the first time I've noticed on the video, so I'll have to look back at some of the others and see if he is. I'll have to do a challenge, spot Oscar. <laughs> yeah, so getting back to what we're doing. So I've just done these for, again, using the paints. The painted backgrounds on the scrapbooking paper and look look how the end results look just from you know splashing a bit of paint down nothing i mean to be honest because of the colors in this bird and these here i mean i just think that one's amazing i just think that's really interesting and um i just think they're really good I'm really impressed with them so yeah, so that's it for now. Thank you very, very much for watching. And um, please.